Today we are going to have a fantastic session about Zoho CRM. We are going to talk about what is Zoho CRM, why do you need Zoho CRM, how to implement Zoho CRM, and the most important best practices about Zoho CRM that I have collected across hundreds of Zoho CRM implementations. I will start with what is Zoho CRM. Now I am not going to say Zoho CRM was created in India in no, I am going to tell you that Zoho CRM is really two things. First of all, Zoho CRM is the hub, is the, the core of all the other Zoho systems. As an example, if in the future you will have Zoho Desk as an example, which is a phenomenal customer service system, you will have all the information in Zoho CRM and Zoho CRM will sync the contacts with Zoho Desk, which means if right now you're starting with Zoho CRM, it will allow you in the future to expand and have more Zoho softwares while you don't need to config everything from the beginning. You can use Zoho CRM as the base with all the contacts and the other Zoho applications will pull and receive the information from Zoho CRM. So this is one thing. The second thing that defines what is Zoho CRM is really it's a sales machine. There are lots and lots of CRMs that are dealing with leads and, and deals. Zo can do that as well, but this is not the power of Zo. The power of Zo, from my perspective, is automation. I am relatively a small company. We're about 10 employees. It's, it's a very small company, but we are generating money as a big company because my 10 employees company could easily be about 50 people. And that's thanks to all the automations that I am using from Zoho CRM. As an example, I, I uploaded a video about three weeks ago that's showing my sales cycle. When I have a new person that is interested working with me, he will click on a link and this link will provide him the availability on when he can meet with me then you will get a form that he needs to fill more information. Now, after I talk to the person and if he is interested, in a click of a button, a retainer invoice will be sent to the prospect. There will be a signal, a, an agreement that the client needs to sign. A folder will be created on the work drive that will include all the customer documentations and so on and so on. As you can see in a one click, I just saved probably one hour of work that uh, one or more people supposed to do. Now that was a relatively difficult process to run, but you can have also light processes that just using drag and drop, you can build those processes yourself. As an example, let's say that you like to create a blueprint. Now, a blueprint is a must for any business process. Let's assume that you have a business process of how to receive a lead. You as the business owner, you know that when a lead comes in, you will have only three options. One, maybe it's just spam, so it needs to go away. Maybe you try to call this lead and you were able to talk to him. So this is now a conversation. When you click on the button contacted on the blueprint, the blueprint will ask you questions. What is the person's first name? What is the last name? What is the company name? You as the business owner can, can define what questions will be asked once the person, the salesperson, is on the phone with your lead. This is totally priceless because it's enforcing your logic as, as a business owner on your employees, totally priceless. Another section that is also amazing, it's the assignment rules. Whenever leads coming into the system, I can define who is getting them. In some businesses where you have multiple salespeople, maybe one of the salespeople is amazing, 
with women and another person is amazing with men or maybe with older people or young people or maybe when the deal amount is bigger than one million it goes to someone else so we can define based on the lead data which salesperson or sales group is going to receive the lead we can set timer on how fast a salesperson should connect with the lead and if he will not do it on time there will be escalation to someone else there are more sections of automations there are also the workflows the workflows will allow you using really clicking on buttons and selecting it will allow you to define when actions will take place as an example a very small example whenever my contact will have a birthday you will get a birthday email that's a very simple one that you can do in 20 seconds in other systems that i used to work in the past like salesforce and AppSpot and, and different systems it used to take lots of effort to create all the automations that i am just talking about but with zoho crm it's extremely easy and very flexible now except of the fact that you are going to save lots of money in manpower which means you can let your team take care of the majors and not with the minors they can deal with the important things that generating money to the business and not dealing with copy paste or other functions that are just wasting times except all that you're also saving lots of pain because of manual errors machines just doing what they supposed to do consistently and just by using a good crm you are reducing the errors in your organization which eventually will lead to better customer service better closing ratio and so on so that's a phenomenal thing that zo crm can help you with before we start with the best practices i need to advise you that it's very very important to smash the like button the like button will help me with the video and will help also the youtube algorithm now let's start talking about the best practices so the first best practice is that some business owners they're trying to have a shortcut and they are not using the entire power of the structure of leads contacts accounts and deals they are saying you know what i will say i will have only leads and on the leads i will sell and i will do everything now that doesn't really work it is a small patch that you can start using the system very fast i get that but when you're trying to take advantage of all the cool features that zo crm offers you will need to have the full structure a small example will be if you like to have a report that will show you your conversion ratio how many leads came in and how many deals you were able to produce from those leads you will need to have the conversion which means leads being converted to a deal and only then you will be able to know the conversion so that's probably one of the biggest best practices that i can share with you if you currently have a crm or you are thinking of having a crm i recommend you to have the leads the leads will have all the prospects that started the interaction with you but they are not serious they probably don't know your pricing or your services all the way and you don't know their intentions but whenever they will become serious usually it will be after a meeting then you are going to convert them into a deal so this is really the uh, the mechanism of when you convert. Mm -hmm.